Can you feel it? Fall is here. I've been waiting a long time for it. It arrived at 8.04, and let me tell you, summer really was hanging on. Here is a look at our high temperatures today, and we did have record highs at the airport, Slidell, and also in Gulfport. Temperatures right now kind of on the warm side, upper 70s to even the upper 80s. And when you factor in the humidity, low to the mid 70s, it's still feeling kind of toasty at the lakefront. Feels like 91 degrees, but right on cue, we've got a cold front that's moving through. Now, don't expect it to be a lot cooler. The change is going to be in drier air moving in, and I think you'll notice it, especially tomorrow. Here is a look at what's happening, and the tropics are crunked. There we have Fiona, and the situation with Fiona is that it has not intensified. It is feeling impacts of some drier air and some wind shear, but it's still really strong, 130 mile per hour winds. There's Gaston, you've got a little system off of Africa and a low chance tropical development for this broad low. And of course, what we're all watching is Invest 98L. Can you tell? These forecast models have shifted a little bit to the east. So I'm gonna show you everything coming up in a moment. But first, there is a look at Fiona, Max Winds 130, and it's racing to the north-northeast at about 21. So there's Bermuda, hurricane force winds extend out 115 miles, tropical force winds 275 miles. Notice on that west side, some little dry air is pushing in, but they're already feeling those impacts. Then the system moves to the north, still really strong winds. It gets big as it goes into Canada and is going to be causing a lot of wind and rain. There, a look at the system. We can zoom in. The eye is kind of racket. The pressure is still dropping. This is a strong hurricane. Look at Invest 98L. I mean, it's changed, right? Seeing a whole lot of convection. But the center is on the east side. Look at all of the rain on the west side. So what's going on? Well, you've got some strong winds aloft. It's what we call wind shear. You also have dry air on the east side. But look, it is moving away from the wind shear, which is this red right in here. And also, it's moving into really warm water. And it's got deep heat going down into the Caribbean, that's going to help it intensify. So we can look at the water temperatures in the upper 80s in the Gulf of Mexico. Here is a look at Tuesday. This the global forecast model. Yesterday it had the center over the Yucatan Peninsula. It has shifted to the east and it's really sped up. So Tuesday morning, entering the Gulf, picking up on those west winds associated with that cold front and with high pressure to the east, it turns to the northeast and right now forecast to move towards the Florida Big Bend area. This is the European model forecast to move over central Cuba. This is Monday night and then to the northeast over towards the Florida Keys. That is Tuesday and then it shoots off to the northeast. These models can still change, so we've got to continue watching it. But what I've seen is a shift to the east, both models agree with that, and a little bit faster. So that's good news for us. Don't wish it on anybody, but don't want it to come here. High pressure giving us dry air across the area. Looking at your forecast, it's still hot through the weekend. Cold front moves through Monday. That is going to be the frontal boundary that helps steer 98L hopefully away. Breezy Wednesday, Thursday. All right, Mark.